Uh, welcome back. And you know what? We are the ECAB events. And we said, if you never heard it from us, probably it never happened. And last weekend was so hot uh, from Mutaiga Golf Course, where everybody was on Sunday. I remember such a lifestyle moment to pack and chill at KCC, another crazy event. But you know what? We began all this thing on Friday, Saturday at the Nairobi Design Week. Somewhere around Opportunity Factory in Karen, where every sort of designer from fashion, creatives, beads, and everything was happening. You know what? I think we just watched this video just to have a little idea what was going on down there. This time, we've got an even more than we ever expected. You know, just having these open calls, we've got like over 60 physical exhibitors, over 60 um, digital exhibitors. We have entertainment entertainment from different parts, like Molly Munyatiti is gonna come and play Titi. We've got Kake Wakake with his drums. So we've got like, I think, if we to just look within the team, we had like 60 plus applicants for crew members for a long time. The word that's going out there about Africa, about let's say where we come from, is always about suffering or like, you know, it's the, med the media has a way of maybe, I don't know, for some reason, picking the negative, right? We're not saying that there's no negative, but also there is a lot of positive, right? There's a lot of positive from where we come from. There's a lot of positive from even our heritage, our ancestry, which we need to go back to. And that's why like when we look at our podcast, Africa Design, it's all about getting these stories from all over Africa. I'm Adrian Jankowiak. I'm an industrial designer by profession, and I'm the founder and design director of Nairobi Design. Nairobi Design. Um, it used to be Nairobi Design Week until this year and we've just rebranded as Nairobi Design because we do much more than just a, a festival. So we're also an agency throughout the year, so Nairobi Design. So this year, of course, we have Tracing the Wild behind me. We have a partnership with British Council uh, under the SSA Arts Shifting Narratives Programme with Kampala Design Week. So we're interviewing 24 creatives from around the continent for our podcast, Africa Design, and that's Africa with a K. And we're also, we, we have lots of exhibitors here. You'll see physical exhibitors, digital exhibitors, and vendors who are selling things as well. You know, you just, just seen it for yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had like 60 exhibitors, look, physical, you know, at the ground, on the ground. We had like 60 of them presented digitally. And this one event that's just put Kenya on the map. And we were just talking about this last time. Mm -hmm. Creative world in Kenya, whether it's fashion, whether it's paintings, whether it's all forms of creativity seems to mm -hmm. be getting a space that we never used to have. Yeah. I don't know what you feel about that. I absolutely agree. There's been a lot of events coming up. And even at the, was it the Gol Kenya Opens or what was it called? The, the golf event. The golf yes. People, yeah. They also had vendors selling their art there as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like, and like you said, it's moving to the digital space. So you can actually just showcase your art. Mm. You don't have to go to a gallery or pay for space. You can put it online and, ha and sell it to people who n understand art and like your art. So... Yeah. Good on them. I feel like it was a fantastic event. I didn't manage to go, but it looked absolutely uh, I fantastic. I can tell you, guys guys, guys yeah. were streaming in day two, Saturday and Sunday. The place was full. I would count almost 3,000 people per okay. day or so just cool. coming through. And you know, the way they used to say these are things from Zungu's, Karen and ABCD. Yeah. You know, this you, you can see Kibera Fashion Week yeah. and, and everything that you can call local fashion be yeah. presented there. I don't know. I find it very beautiful because before we never used to have this. And right now we even have a community committee that handles this kind of mm -hmm. thing so artists are being well represented everyone is being well represented here in Nairobi I wish I could see it extending to the county level mm -hmm. so we can see more art because people are very creative oh, yes. it's not only in Nairobi so it would be beautiful to see greater things happening in the county level too. Yeah. in other counties rather would you advocate for EDV tours just to take it up as their mandate to just grow art like you know, mm, ask definitely. here, oh, you say the counties or wherever it is, government just creates these But like you these said guys. initially, you know, it was only for a certain group of people. So yeah. on the right. outskirts, I'm even assuming it's 10 times harder to, to take the it. initiative yourself. So having these kinds of 
programs or events which are All organized right. by people bring a lot a, a larger group of num a larger number of people mm. yeah. makes more sense than to expect one person maybe in Kitale, I don't know the scene in Kitale. And with all the yeah, world of me. culture and traditions that yeah. we have, yeah. you know, with all the tribes, I think we can have a lot. Just yeah. imagine an event taking place in Trukana oh, yes. with all that so showcase beautiful. of But you of see, all that. the thing is, I believe, if you take the initiative, like it takes one person to start something, right? So if you, as an individual, you can just start something small, it doesn't have to be grand, mm -hmm. and then you can now contact people uh, oh, yes. in the county level, county government to help you, even schools. Because, mm -hmm. you know, students in schools are the ones who yes. really have the talent. And right. right now we can see the dem the shift from 844 because it was just fully based on education. And now this new system has come and they're ca also focusing on Correct. the talent. Correct. So it would be very beautiful to see schools incorporate such things. And again, yeah. I think young people are trusting themselves so much with all this. Yeah. It's not times when you just you just think I about think the lawyer, they'll, you know, they'll It's because of the appreciation. Or, exactly. Because before we never had this and now that we can see our work as creatives is being appreciated, mm -hmm. we are actually getting more and more into it. So yeah. like we were talking about last time, yeah. young people into those spaces, mm -hmm. Tanana down to the roots, let's go back yeah. there. But you know what? Yeah. That was not the only event we attended last yeah. week. Mm -hmm. You know, at the Germany Embassy, there was another beautiful good moments. Oh, wow. If you like the mm -hmm. strings on the guitars and all that, this should it be it for you. We have a jazz uh, night here at the German residence. Um, so um, we have some musicians um, from Germany, from Italy, but also, of course, from Kenya, and a lot of friends and people from the diplomatic community, from the media, from the art scene, to have a good time and to have a jam session later on and uh, just to have fun. I have the privilege to be ambassador here, and I want to use this privilege also to help Kenyan musicians, to help um, the jazz scene, but also other forms of music, the classical music, the conservatoire. We had the Bundeswehr big band here in town that performed um, with the Nairobi horns, for example. So to bring all these people together and um, meet and um, create a, a, a new sort of understanding and a new sort of music together is, uh, is, a, is, a, very, is a very nice thing, and I'm very happy to do this. My name is Giacomo Aula. I'm a pianist, a professional pianist and composer and bass player. I'm very happy, happy to meet this country and also to meet the local musicians. And more than McKinley, I met yesterday a wonderful guitar player named uh, Eddie Gray, which I'm very happy I met him. Jazz is very active and very um, naturally growing thing because it's kind of uh, the classical music of the of 19th and 20th century. Jazz music is uh, obviously a lot connected to African music, but it was born when uh, the African rhythm was brought away in the United States where there was no uh, previous cultural and old tradition. Niage, Mimini Balosi, Wauja Romani, Gina Lango, and Sebastian Groth, and I'm very happy Nina Forey Sana to be at this show, ICAF. It's a great show. Thank you very much. You know what? Did you just hear, get that Swahili? Listen, <laughs> may I love any foreigner who's trying to learn the language of the people? 100%. I'm here for all of I'm it. I'm feeling like this kind of jazz thing is your kind of thing. It, right. listen, I don't know let's about. not go there. I, mean, I don't <laughs> listen to jazz. You don't? I, find okay. it I love it, uh, but I do listen to it by design. Yeah. Valid. Is same. that the same thing? Mm -hmm. Same thing for me. I mean, I only enjoy it when I'm outside having dinner. Yeah. Nice wine, nice glass of wine, nice exactly. cocktail. Exactly. <laughs> the mood is right. And you know yeah. what? And, and that is what was going on there at the embassy. I yeah. mean, this is everybody just relaxing, having their little drink, yeah. wine, bitings, and all that. And we just around these circles where we have mm -hmm. cool people. Yeah. You Not know, the kind of things you go downtown Nairobi and everybody, you're just thinking, downtown. where's my <laughs> phone? Disgust. And you know what? His face. Face. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? You know, but above all, you know what? It's, it's a very good thing when you have the diplomat yeah. just get into these creative spaces mm -hmm. other than just those political missions and yeah. you know kind of a thing and it's just je just there enjoying himself with everybody who's around that i remember the times of bob colimo and the mm. way jazz was a oh, thing and, and and this is kind of vibe this event just yeah. gives us
absolutely yeah. i love i love it i don't i didn't get to attend one of the jazz events but i've had so many great things oh, yes. and i know for sure i missed out right. i have be having fomo right. every the single things day. about <laughs> alternative types of music is mm -hmm. it gets to expose uh, people to different kind of interests which yeah. i absolutely like it's like books you know you get to listen to something that's not the normal that right. you get played uh, over day. and over on the radio mm -hmm. and you get to find different interests and passions that leads to different opportunities right. so i feel like it's absolutely fantastic that such events exist and i think the event mm -hmm. just comes to tell us that you can have a kind of lifestyle event that's so chilled yeah. you don't have yeah. to have a million people in one event True. you can have a little community just discussing and talking about this and so i think i love what that event was that i would have had some little nice wine <laughs> for that matter that's beautiful you, you know have what? wine from germany or what were they serving yeah there? And that's an important question, yeah. Some fine wine and everything really fine. Nice. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's good. You know what? Yeah. But yeah, we're just moving away from last weekend and moving mm -hmm. towards the next weekend. So many things happening still, mm -hmm. Nairobi. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Shamza, Fairy of the Gods. That's a movie that's mm -hmm. nice. just premiered mm -hmm. the other day. I think we should check the theaters mm -hmm. uh, this coming week. I don't know. Do you attend the theaters? I really uh, do. I do sometimes, once in a while. Right. Yeah, when my elder siblings forced me to do that. <laughs> You know what? And it's not just about <laughs> Shamza, know, the Fairy of the Gods. But that was a beautiful movie. Yeah. I think I've watched the, the trailer for that. Yeah. It's a very beautiful thing. And mm -hmm. it's not the only thing that's happening. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, the Macmillan, the Macmillan building. Uh, the things you are seeing at the Nairobi Design Week. Mm -hmm. One of them was that Nairobi spaceship, mm -hmm. 2299. Mm -hmm. And actually, that's the actual launch day uh, coming this weekend, Saturday. That's when they'll be launching the Nairobi spaceship. Okay. And that's I think it's going to be something they say, you need to wear something that looks like 22.99. That's interesting. That's interesting. I want to go for that. I've never I won't. What would you I'd wear like for 22.99? If you just imagine what plan that the would be like. The way people are not wearing clothes on the internet. In I fact, they're just surprised. making it sound like if you are from Kibra, how, how would you be dressed in 22.99, for example? And so something worthy watching out mm -hmm. and many other things. I know the theaters are busy, buzzing yeah. with activities. Yeah. I don't know. What sort kind of activity and where would you find you this coming weekend? Or even from tonight? <laughs> Damn, that's a hard question. My mother's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother but should be proud of this. <laughs> uh, definitely. I think I'll just go home, enjoy a glass of wine with my sister and just bond about the week. We've had a hectic week, so right. we need to announce That's an event. You can e visit that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Laura, where would you find you this? Listen, where the music is loud and the people are crowded, that's exactly where you find me. All right. That's the club. You it's loud, the club. it's crowded, <laughs> it's busy. And so, yes, I think I'll pick one of those events. You will definitely find ECAB, not just me, but Absolutely. the team around ECAB, the same. Yeah. And so, as we take the break, Stevens, mm -hmm. the events man, they call me the king of pubs, will be taking my break to my own event now. Where? Look for me or in the next minute. Social. I'll be on the road <laughs> everywhere. But the girls are going to give you more fun, more drill, more glamour. Yes. yes sir.